Hi, I am Faradon. Here is an algorithm question that gave me a hard time, but I think it is a valuable problem, so let's walk through it. Given n and k, how many lengths and strings can be formed without k consecutive characters? And the characters are the 26 lowercase characters. Um, for example, if n is 3 and k is 3, we will have three slots, and each of the slot can be a character. So there can be 26 character, 26 and 26 choices, but we cannot have three consecutive letters such as AAA, BBB, and 26 combinations. And this gives us the result of 26 to the third minus 26, which is the 26 consecutive cases. The second example says, when n is 3 and k is 2, how many ways to construct 3-bit uh, strings without two consecutive letters, which means we cannot have AA here, or we cannot have a BB or AA on the second two slots, or we cannot have AAA, BBB, etc. Uh, this means we need uh, to subtract a lot of things from the 26 to the third. For example, we need to subtract the cases of all of them are the same characters and subtract the first two being the same, which is 26 times 25, because if we have a BB uh, and all the way to ZZ here, we cannot have A here uh, because this will overlap with three consecutive numbers. So if we have 26 choices in the first two, we will only have 25 choices for the last one to not overlap with the three consecutive case. And uh, the last 26 times 25 is when we have uh, the last two slots having the same letter. And this entire equation will give us uh, a very gigantic result. Is there a systematic way to solve this problem? At first, I tried to use this subtractive method, but it didn't work for me. So uh, I came up with a dynamic programming method that solved this problem. The idea is, if we have the result of the first n minus one length string, then we can just add one letter to that string. And this will give us 26 multiplied by the previous results, many cases, because the last slot can only be A to Z, 26 choices. Uh, we can use DP, N, K, to denote number of N length string without k consecutive letters. Therefore, we can write dp in k using the previous result, which is dp n minus 1 k multiplied by 26. And dp n minus 1 means how many n minus 1 lens strings can be formed without k consecutive letters. And now we just multiply by the last slot. But here's the problem. We have to subtract the cases when, if the last one is a, and our last k minus one letters in the previous string is also a, a, a. Then 
this will form a k consecutive consecutive strings and this is bad so we have to subtract this case how many do we need to subtract we just minus the number of n minus 1 length strings that ends with k minus 1 it's consecutive letters how many cases are there one observation is that because the last k minus 1 letters are fixed they can only be the same letter we only need to count the first few slots which is n minus 1 minus k minus 1 which is n minus k slots so we can choose freely the k minus 1 slots and the last uh, the tail slots can only be one character therefore the question becomes how many ways to form the first n minus k slots we can directly use dp n minus k k meaning the number of n minus k length strings without k consecutive letters but there is also a problem that we need to avoid which is if this last character is a and the k minus one characters are also a we come to a degenerate case therefore when we count the ways of the n minus one slots we need to avoid the case of the last character being the same as the k minus one section and because here the n minus k strings can only end with a b c or z so it can only end with one of the 26 character therefore uh, as long as we choose the 25 all out of 26 configurations we can avoid the, the degenerate case of being a that is we only need to consider the 25 out of 26 cases multiplied by the uh, dp n minus k k cases and keep in mind that the k minus one section it can be a a b b b or c c c all the way to z so it can have 26 uh, configurations therefore we multiply the 26 at the end and those two cancels out we are left with 25 times dp n minus k k here the result means that when we consider the n minus one then string how many ways will there be a k minus one consecutive letters at the end this is 25 times dp uh, n minus k number of ways now finally we can put our equations together dp n k equals dp n minus 1 k times 26 minus dp n minus k k times 25 this means uh, out of all the n minus 1 strings we can form this many of combinations and then we multiply by the last uh, character however we need to subtract the cases of this n minus 1 string having the last k minus 1 letters being the same and the number of such degenerate cases is calculated as 
25 multiplied by dp n minus k. And this 25 is a, a result from here, this calculation. Maybe you can see that we are not actually using k in this equation. So this re result gives us a 1d dp. We can just express dp as uh, dpn, which is one dimensional. But when does this k come into play? This is when we consider the base case. When k, when n is less than k. What does that mean? If n is 3 and k is 4, we only have 3 slots and we don't require 4 consecutive letters, which will never happen. So we can freely choose each of the slots being the 26 letters. So when n is less than k, we just use 26 to the power of n. Uh, and when n is equal to k, this is when n is 3, k is 3, so 3 slots. We need to minus the 3 consecutive k's, which is a all the way to zzz, which has 26 ways. Uh, so when n is equal to k, we only minus the all of them being the same case, which is 26 to the n minus 26, just these 26 configurations. And finally, when n is greater than k, we can bring our dp equation here, which is dpnk equals dp n minus 1k multiply by 26 minus dp n minus k k multiply by 25 and when we are writing the code we can just use for i from 1 or maybe 2 2 to n we calculate dp i equals to those three cases uh, when i is less than k i is equal to k and i is greater than k this and finally we return dp n and this will give us the correct result of dynamic programming at first, I was trying to use uh, 26 to the nth power minus two consecutive case, three consecutive case, all the way to n consecutive case, but it didn't work for me. And here is the DP method that can solve the problem. Hope this can be helpful, and thank you so much for watching.